now let us discuss about distance vector routing algorithm in computer networks routing means transmitting packets from source to destination that means routing means transmitting the packets from one router to another router the major aim of distance vector routing algorithm is to determine the best path to travel from source to destination that means to determine the best path to travel from one router to another router here the best path means least cost path shortest cost so best path means least cost path okay here every router will maintain a routing table routing table mainly contains three fields they are first field is destination router second field is distance to travel to the corresponding destination router and the third field is next router to visit uh, here what will happen is uh, every router will shares its routing table information with its neighboring routers so every time the routing table information will be updated periodically so that's why uh, we can call distance vector routing algorithm as dynamic routing algorithm why because every router will shares its routing information will shares its routing table information with other routers so other routers will simply updates its routing tables so that's why we can call distance vector routing algorithm as dynamic routing algorithm or this can also be called as adaptive routing algorithm why because every time the routing table information will be changes or we can call this as iterative routing algorithm iterative means here we have to follow several steps until uh, uh, that uh, short cost uh, that least cost uh, uh, routing is formed okay uh, here we have uh, let us see this example here we have four routers such as a b c d so maximum we require four minus one so that is nothing but three steps uh, in this problem we will get the solution in two steps only so that's why there is no need of third step even if we write the step three also it is similar to step 2 only okay uh, suppose if the graph contain 10 routers if the graph contain 10 routers then maximum we will get uh, the 10 minus 1 that is nothing but uh, 9 iterations okay so in the examination it is better to to uh, take a graph which contains uh, uh, limited number of routers okay uh, let us see the first step here uh, in the first step what we are doing is Uh, if we know that every router will maintain a routing table so this is a routing table b routing table c routing table d routing table we know that every router every routing table contains three fields the first field is destination router and the second field is distance and the third field is next router okay router can also be called as hop also hop hop also okay uh, here the possible destinations are a b c d so a to a distance is zero so the next router to visit is a only okay why because from a we are traveling to a only okay likewise b to b distance is zero next router to visit is b to b means we will visit b only okay so distance is zero next router is b so likewise c to c means distance is zero next router to visit is c d to d distance is zero next router to visit is d only that means if the source router and the destination router are same then the distance is zero and the next router to visit is the router only why because source and destination are same only so next a to b a to b so a to b what is the distance here a to b here we have a path so distance is 12 and next router to visit is b so a to b distance is 12 next router to visit is b next a to c what is the distance 
9 is the distance and next to rooted to visit is C. A to C distance is 9 and next to rooted to visit is C. Next A to D distance is 4 next to rooted to visit is D. A to D distance is 4 next to rooted to visit is D. So this is about routing table of A. Now let us see the routing table of B. So here we have three columns. So distance, uh, destination, distance and next to router. The possible destinations are A, B, C, D. So B to A, what is the distance? 12 and next to router to visit is A only. So 12 A. B to B means distance is 0, next to router to visit is B. Next to B to C, distance is 1, next to router to visit is C. So 1 C. B to D, we do not have any path. So we do not know the distance. So that is why we have to write infinity. So infinity specifies that we do not know the distance. And hyphen means uh, uh, we do not know the next router to visit. Okay. So infinity minus. So likewise, routing table of C is calculated. Routing table of D is calculated. Okay. Uh, next, let us see the step 2. So in step 2, what will happen is every router this is the initialization stage okay so this is the initial status of every router's routing table in step 2 what will happen is uh, uh, every router will share its routing table information with its neighboring routers so here what are router a neighboring routers b next to c d why because there is a link from a to b a to C and A to D. So, B will share its routing table information with A. B will, uh, C will share <coughs> its routing table with A. D will share its routing table with A. Here, the corresponding routers will share only the corresponding distance vector. Okay? So, all the three columns will not be shared. Only this distance vector will be shared. If we consider B, so here what is the distance vector 12 0 1 infinity so b will shares only this distance vector with a so likewise if we consider c c will shares this vector this distance vector with a likewise d will shares its distance vector with a okay uh, now let us see about uh, step 2 uh, routing table A information, likewise we have routing table B information, C information and D information. Okay, So here also we have three columns, destination, distance and next router to visit. So first for A to A, source is A, destination is A. So for A to A, distance is 0, next router to visit is 0. Likewise for B to B, distance is 0, next router to visit is B. Likewise, for C to C, 0 C. For D to D, 0 D. Next, for A to B, for A to B. So, previously we have 12 B. Now, B has information of B, C and D vectors also. So, if we, if we observe this one. So, A to B, A to B. If we observe this path. So, what is the distance? 12 is the distance. Here we can traverse via this path also. If we traverse via this path, so initial distance is 12. If we traverse via this path, so that means A to C plus C to B. A to C distance is 9. C to B distance is 1. So 9 plus 1 means 10. 9 plus 1 means 10. So next, next A to D via D C also we can go. So A to D plus via this path D to C plus C to B. So A to D what is the distance 4? D to C what is the distance 2? C to B what is the distance 1? So 4 plus 2 plus 1 means 7. Why? Because these routing tables information is already shared. A to D what is the distance? A to D 4. Next Next, D to C, D to C, what is the distance? 2. Next to C to B, here we have C, here we have B, 1. So, 4, 4 plus 2 plus 1. So, the distance is 7, 7. 
and here after a what is the next router to visit we can visit d and after that we will visit c so here the next router is d comma c next let us find out the distance from a to c a to c here directly we have a path a to c what is the distance 9 so previously we have 9 now let us find out the uh, least distance a to c here we can go via this path that means in the examination in the theory examination you need to write as via d vector so a to d plus d to c a to d plus d to c what is the distance 6 is the distance if we travel via this path then what is the distance 12 plus 1 12 plus 1 means 13 so out of 13 and 6 what is the minimum distance 6 is the minimum distance so that's why 6 is written here and we are tra we are traveling via d so d is the next vector to visit here already we have the corresponding distances a to d a to d here this field 4 next d to c or uh, d to c 2 so 4 plus 2 means 6 so likewise a to d a to d here we have a direct path this is the minimum distance only why because if we travel via if we travel via this path then the distance is 9 plus 2 11 if we traverse via this path 12 plus 1 plus 2 so larger value so this is minimum value only so a to d distance is 4 uh, next intermediate uh, that next router to visit is d so likewise let us find out for b b here what are b neighboring routers b neighboring routers are a and c a and c a and c so now a distance vector as well as c distance vector information will be shared with b so now b has its routing table information as well as a a's information as well as c distance vector information also so the routing tables will share only the distance vector information distance vector means this middle column this middle column information will be shared so let us see the table here here also we have three columns destination distance and next so b to a b to a uh, 12 is the distance now we have the routing tables of uh, a as well as c also so we can uh, traverse via this path so 1 plus 2 plus 4 so what is the distance 1 plus 2 plus 4 means 7 is the distance so here we are tra what is the next router to visit either c or d why because now b has a and c information so b to c here b has b information as well as a information as well as c information so in the examination you can write like this so b implies a equal to uh, what is the distance b to c b to c plus c to d plus d to a so 1 plus 2 plus 4 if you observe the routing tables so b to b to c here if you observe here b to c 1 is the distance next to c to d 2 is the distance next to d to a 4 is the distance so that is nothing but 7 and the next router to visit is c and d next to b to b 0 is the distance uh, as well as next router to visit is b next uh, next b to c uh, yeah this is the minimum distance 1 is the minimum distance uh, so 1 the next router to visit is c only next to b to d b to d we can travel via this path or we can travel via this path if we travel via this path then what is the distance 3 is the distance and the next router to visit is c as well as d likewise we can find out for c and d so this is the new uh, c routers table information and this is the new d routers table information why because here what will happen while calculating the c routing table information what will happen router a router b as well as router d will share its distance vector information with router c so likewise while calculating d d neighboring routers are a and c so router a and router c will share information with router d uh, here in step 2 only we got the least cost so there is no need to proceed for step 3 even if we did step 3 also we will get the same solution this is the these are the least cost paths okay so here the point is 
if the graph contain six routers then maximum we require five steps so that's why it is better to take minimum number of routers okay so this is about uh, distance vector routing algorithm